Hello years three and four and welcome back to online music learning. Uh, I've left in the HyperDoc a little introduction video. It's the one that I made last year. If you haven't done online music learning with me or you did do it but you've forgotten because it's been over a year what you need to do, please go and watch that video before you watch this one. If you remember what it was like, you don't need to watch it and you're ready for this video now. I know that most of you have done music with me before, whether it was last year during lockdown or whether it was in class at Amaru School. Uh, so I'm not going to go all the way back to the very beginning in these videos, otherwise people are going to be falling asleep because they've already learnt this stuff a million times. Uh, I'm going to be starting and I'm going to be assuming that you've done a bit of music with me before. If you haven't done music with me before and you're watching these videos going, oh this is really tricky, I don't understand. Uh, I have my YouTube channel in the HyperDoc as well. So go and check out my YouTube channel. It's got all the videos that I made last year and they do start pretty much from lesson one. So if you're struggling or you just want to do more music at home, check out my YouTube channel and it's got all the videos from last year on there for you to watch and redo. Now, the first thing we're going to do is going to use something that we would have learnt in class, our rhythm notes. And for that, I'm going to need my magical appearing whiteboard. Whoa, there it is. All right, so for this game, you're gonna to need to know three rhythm notes. So the three notes you need to know are ta, titi, and za. They should look pretty familiar to most of you. A quick refresher, ta is one sound on a beat. Ta. TT is two sounds on a beat. TT and za is no sounds on a beat. Don't even say the za, you just think it. So, could you please clap this rhythm for me? Do it by yourself, and then I'll do it, and you can check if you're alright. Ready, go. So, hopefully, you clapped. Ta. T T T T ta. Great. Could you please clap this rhythm for me? Ready, go. Hopefully you clap this. Ta ta T T. Now, you're going to need these two rhythms for the next game. Uh, I'm actually not going to play this game with you. I've been isolating with someone who's been learning some of my music stuff and he was a bit excited to play this game with you guys. Uh, so I am going to go get him. I'd be a bit, be a bit careful with this guy. Um, but anyway, I'll go get him. Hello, years three and four. Now, I've been thrilled about this lockdown because it means no more in-person assemblies and I hate assemblies. I'm also thrilled about the lockdown because it means I get to poison some children. Now, we're going to play a game called Poison Rhythm. These two rhythms you've just learnt are poisonous and I'm going to get you to clap them. Even the first clap is enough to kill a fully grown elephant. I'm going to clap some rhythms. You need to repeat them back to me. But if I clap ta t t t t ta or ta za ta t t do not clap them back. You will be poisoned. I'm going to poison each and every one of you. Here we go. Repeat after me. <laughs> if you clap that, you clap the poison rhythm. If you didn't clap it, I'll get you this time. Here we go. Ooh. 
Gut. <laughs> if you clapped it, that was the poison rhythm. Here we go again one more time. <laughs> if you clapped it, you are poisoned again. If you didn't clap any of them, you foiled me. All right, I'm going to go get that dastardly music teacher that I've been isolated with so long. Oh, sorry about that. As soon as I told that guy that there was a game called Poison Rhythm. He was so excited and keen to poison some kids. Weird guy, hey. But, he's pretty good looking. Anyway, if you want to play Poison Rhythm at home, it's really easy to play. If you've got a brother or sister who wants to play it, or someone else at home who wants to play with you, give it a go. It's fun and it's a really good practice at music. Anyway, on to the next thing. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part about lockdown music teaching, singing alone in my lounge room and hoping you guys are singing with me. Uh, this one is called Poor Old Howard. It should be new to pretty much everyone, I think. It goes like this. Poor old Howard's dead and gone, left me here to sing this song. Poor old Howard's dead and gone, left me here to sing this song. Great, now I'm going to teach it to you. Make sure you sing back to me. Poor old Howard's dead and gone. Left me here to sing this song. Poor old Howard's dead and gone. Left me here to sing this song. Great, you'll notice that the words uh, gone and song the second time are really long, they go for four beats. So don't sing it. Poor old Howard's dead and gone. It needs to be poor old Howard's dead and gone. Goes for it, it's a long note. Uh, let's sing the whole thing together. Sing with me. Here we go. Poor old Howard's dead and gone. Left me here to sing this song. Poor old Howard's dead and gone. Left me here to sing this song. All right, well, if you've learned that song really quickly, great. If you need to rewind the video to learn the words a bit better, you're welcome to do that. But we're going to do an activity with this song now. Now, for this next bit, you're going to need something to drum with, okay? Uh, in a second, I want you to pause the video and find something. Uh, it needs to be something that's not going to break. So please don't use a wine glass. Uh, pick something that's sturdy and something that you're going to be able to hear. So I've picked my saucepan, okay? Um, you're also going to need two sticks to hit it with, something that's going to not break as well and something that's quite hard. So don't use a piece of grass. I've got my two spoons from the kitchen. Okay, and put them together. I've got a drum. Can you please pause the video and go and find yourself something that you can drum with. Keep your family in mind, something that's not going to be ridiculously loud. Okay, hopefully you found yourself a drum. You paused the video and you went and got one. If you haven't done it, go and do it now. Uh, so I've just realised that I need my whiteboard back. I don't know why I put it away. Hey, presto. All right, so I've got the two rhythms from before on the board. The first one is ta, ti, 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 ta. The second one is ta, ta, ti, ti. Now, these rhythms are going to be played in the long bits of the song. So the word 
gone, which goes for four beats, and the word song, which goes for four beats. As soon as I say the word gone, I'm going to play that rhythm. As soon as I say the word song, I'm going to play that rhythm. Have a listen to me first. Join in if you want to, if you think you get it. Um, if, you, if you're not quite sure, just have a listen. Poor old Howard's dead and gone, left me here to sing this song. Poor old Howard's dead and gone, left me here to sing this song. Great, hopefully you get the idea now. Can you please do it with me with your instrument? Make sure you're singing. Here we go. Poor old Howard's dead and gone, left me here to sing this song. Poor old Howard's dead and gone, left me here to sing this song. Awesome. Your job is going to be to replace these two rhythms and make your own little version of this song. So you're still going to be playing your rhythms when we say gone and song. And they need to be four beat rhythms. If they're more than four beats, it's not going to fit in because the word gone goes for four beats, the word song goes for four beats. If you know more rhythms than just ta, ti, ti, and za, you are definitely encouraged to use them as well. Chuck some ticker tickers in there if you know them. Uh, the challenge of this is singing and playing at the same time. Seems easy, is really, really hard. So it's going to take you a few practices to get it. Try and make sure you play steadily on the beat and make sure you sing in the song when you do it. And that's it for this week of music. You've got two jobs. Job number one is optional. Job number one is to have a game of poison rhythm with someone around the house who's willing to play with you. You can choose to be the person who's clapping the rhythms or you can choose to be the person who's listening to the rhythms and trying not to get tripped. That's really good practice for your listening and really good practice for your clapping skills as well. Um, job number two is to learn the song Poor Old Howard and write two rhythms to play during the word gone and during the word song. Please make them two different rhythms. Do it to your own level. If you're finding it really tricky to drum and sing at the same time, write a really simple rhythm. If you're breezing through this, try and write a more complicated rhythm. Uh, use what you know, use what you've learnt in class. And I will see you guys next week. See you later.